In this video, I'll show you how to integrate your load generating tool with Gremlin. Before you begin, make sure you can access your load generating tool's REST API over the network and that you've already created a load test. For this example, I'm using Grafana Cloud K6, which Gremlin natively integrates with. The first step is to add our load testing tool as an integration to Gremlin. To do this, I'll go to my team settings. I'll go to my team integrations. Under load generators authentication, I'll select Grafana Cloud K6 from the list and click Add. Gremlin automatically gives the integration a name and pre-populates the API URL base field with the K6 API. This means that any request Gremlin sends to this tool will go to this URL. If you're using a custom tool or self-hosting K6, you could change this URL to point to your own API server. Now, I'll enter my API key, click Test Authentication to confirm that it works, and I'll click Save to save my integration. Now, I have an active K6 integration that I can use across my Gremlin team. The way load tests work in Gremlin is similar to how golden signals work. We configure one or more load tests for each individual service, and whenever we run a reliability test on that service, Gremlin automatically fires off the load generator, monitors its progress, and terminates it when the reliability test is finished. Let's add this load test to Gremlin. I'll go back to my services dashboard, and then I'll click on my front end service. From here, I'll click on settings, then integrations, and then I'll select my Grafana Cloud K6 load generator from this list and click add. I'll give this load test a name. Now, if you'd rather not expose your load generator to the public internet, you can install our integration agent onto your network and check private network endpoint to send the API call to the load generator internally. Since I'm using a public cloud platform, I'll keep this unchecked. I already entered my authentication details in the team settings page, so I can leave this as is and Grumman will use the existing authentication details. Now, we need the URL that, are, that will start our load test. I already have this, so I'll just copy and paste it into this box. Now I have the option of adding a URL that Grumman will use to periodically check to ensure that the load test is still running, as well as a URL to stop the load test. By default, Grumman just starts the test and assumes it will finish automatically. A stop URL adds an extra level of safety by ensuring our load test stops when we no longer need it running. Last, we can toggle whether to enable or disable this load test when we're running a reliability test. This is useful in case we ever need to run reliability tests independently of load tests without having to constantly refigure our integration by adding it and removing it. Finally, we'll click Save, and our new load test is ready. Now, if you fire off a new reliability test for this service, Gummin will automatically start our load generator, monitor the health of our service, and record whether our service passed or failed the test. We can easily automate this process to run weekly and help us maintain the reliability of this system.